everyone. I'm Shailaja Menon. I'm a psychologist at LifeWorks. Since the pandemic has hit us so hard in the past few months, we are surrounded constantly by negative events, happenings, and, and incidences. Now, the reason why we have been so indulged in these thoughts is that the brain absorbs negative happenings a lot more than the positive. Now, psychologists call this a negativity bias. In a few minutes, you're going to be listening to an audio talk that's going to kind of walk you through what negativity bias is all about. It will also walk you through how to download negativity bias and upload positivity, which I believe are the psychological immunity boosters during this COVID time. So with that, happy listening. Take care and be safe. Hello everyone, I'm Shailaja Menon, psychologist at LifeWorks. Today we are going to talk about how to download your negativity bias and upload positivity in your lives. Can we fast forward 2020 please? This is a recurring thought running in many of our minds today. The COVID-19 outbreak and its consequences on global mental health has truly been phenomenal. With the ever-continuing new and constant fear and uncertainty looming over us about the spread of the disease, when will this end? Is it here to stay? Is this how our new normal is going to be? Will I contract it? What if I'm not cured? How will I manage through self-isolation? Has put us all totally in a spiral of negativity, hopelessness and immense anxiety that we want to get out of this as quickly as possible. As we are swamped with these feelings, the thought of being positive almost feels like a huge effort. Let's admit, COVID-19 has put us and the entire world in a state of shock and we are struggling to come out of it as we feel not equipped well enough or feel unprepared due to the ambiguity surrounding the situation. Shock is one of the preliminary stages of grief and loss. Yes, we have all lost something in some form or shape in the past months and we are certainly stuck in that grief and loss with a severe negativity bias. My patients often ask me if I get anxious, negative or worried about things and my response is always, absolutely I do. But I've also realized that I have a choice to continue to preach and not do anything about it or put to practice what I preach. I must say, committing to the practice works wonders and truly overcomes our fear, worries and negativity to a large extent. So go for it and put it to practice. But firstly, let's understand and restructure the negativity bias we are stuck in. Okay, so what is negative bias? Have you found yourself constantly dwelling on an insult, conversation, an argument, a heated exchange, incident or a happening? This is because negative events have a greater impact on our brains than positive ones. Psychologists refer to this as a negative bias or it is called the negativity bias. Because negative information causes an increase in the critical information processing area of the brain, our thoughts, behaviors and attitudes tend to be shaped more powerfully by bad news, experiences and information and this has a profound impact on our psychological state, heightening our anxiety or state of sadness. You can now see the connection to what is happening to us in our current situation. We are not only registering the negative stimuli more readily, but also dwelling on it constantly. It's also known as a positive negative asymmetry, which means we experience the sting of uncertainty and the fear of the current situation more powerfully than joy, happiness and pleasure. Now that you have a better understanding and have anchored your thought of negativity for a moment, here are six psychological immunity boosters to upload your positivity to overcome the negativity bias. Number one, promote positive self-talk. Restructure your negative bias by starting to intently focus and pay attention to the type of thoughts that runs through your mind. Stay with that thought for a few minutes. 
being aware and mindful of your thought is a first step to change this is an important process to engage in considering this is a key step to our awareness to our mental and physical health number 2 reframe the situation with positivity how you talk to yourself about the stressful situation event experience people plays a huge role in shaping how you interpret and respond to the situation when you find yourself going into that spiral of negative thoughts look for ways to reframe the event in a positive life this does not mean that you ignore the positive dangers or the rules that we are all bound by that we need to follow but it simply means that you refocus so that you can give a balanced weight to some of the good situations happenings and events that is happening in your life right now establish patterns of positivity when you find yourself ruminating on things that are causing much anxiety sadness and uncertainty and taking you on a negative spiral of thoughts uplift yourself by looking for an activity that will help you to pull yourself out of the negative mindset for instance when you find yourself preoccupied with an unpleasant event or outcome redirect your attention by engaging in an activity that gives you joy happiness and positivity for example listening to music talking to a dear friend going for a walk meditation cooking a meal reading a book are all feel good activities that can divert your attention to positivity number 4 indulge in positive memories positive memories and experiences take much more to be remembered considering negative things often gets quickly transferred and stored in our long term memory therefore we need to take an extra effort to get the same effect from our happy memories and moments too take a moment to focus on it replay it more often in your mind or through activities such as looking through old photographs and albums watching family videos looking at documents and other forms of recognition for your good deeds achievements and accomplishments revisit these often such that they get stored in your long term memory longer than your negative thoughts replay these moments often to evoke positive and wonderful memories number 5 Strive for a positive balance. Feel in control of your life by making active choices and decisions about how you wish to spend your time in thoughts and actions. Fill your life with a balance of work and play, time alone and with people, and above all, indulge in physical and mental activity of positivity. Number 6, be mindful to be positive. Negativity bias can have a profound impact on your thoughts and behaviors. The objective here is to be aware of it and make choices that help you to form a positive outlook in life. Taking a mindful approach is a way to go. Being aware of your tendency to move towards negativity and consciously and consistently heightening your happy thoughts to greater awareness and to the forefront of all your thoughts. This is one of the most beneficial ways to combat your negative bias. Ruminating often on negative thoughts can take a significant toll, so it is extremely critical to combat this bias such that you can psychologically immunize by boosting your mental and physical health so go for it the time is now signing off with a very warm namaste take care and be safe